Hello and welcome once again to Serendipity. I'm Jesselyn Wheelis, one of the children's librarians at the Summit Public Library. Today we're going to celebrate Valentine's Day, which is coming up on February 14th. So we need to get our Valentine's ready for our parents, our family, grandparents, and all of our friends. It's a fun, fun time. And I'm going to read you a couple of stories about Valentine's Day, and we have a couple of love songs. Love songs. Okay. I hope you enjoy it. Now, the first song is one I learned in elementary school, and it's, a, it's an Appalachian folk song called Chickens Crowing on Sourwood Mountain. Here's how it goes. Chickens crowing on Sourwood Mountain, hey. with me and do some fun motions everybody no matter what age you are here we go you start out like chickens it's supposed to be funny chickens crowing on sourwood mountain hey ding ding diddle light day try it with me chickens crowing on sourwood mountain hey ding ding diddle light day now it would be just perfect if you could sing along with me the words aren't hard chickens Crowing on Sourwood Mountain. All right, let's try it. Chickens crowing on Sourwood Mountain. Hey, ding, ding, diddle, I day. And the next part of the chorus is, so many pretty gals, I can't count them. And you do this. So many pretty gals, I can't count them. Hey, ding, ding, diddle, I day. Try that with me. So many pretty gals, I can't count them. Hey, Ding, ding, diddle, I day. All right, let's put the two parts together. Everybody, it's fun. Chickens crowing on Sourwood Mountain. Hey, ding, ding, diddle, I day. So many pretty gals, I can't count them. Hey, ding, ding, diddle, I day. All right, here we go. Get ready. Chickens crowing on Sourwood Mountain. Hey, ding, ding, diddle, I day. So many pretty gals, I can't Valentine's Day Jitters, and it was written by Julie Danneberg, illustrated by Judy Love, and the illustrations are loads of fun. There's the title page, Valentine's Day Jitters. Mrs. Hartwell is the teacher. Valentine's Day was just around the corner and she had the jitters. She was busy planning the class Valentine's Day party and she wanted it to be extra special just like her students. 
Remembering some of her party planning issues in the past, Mrs. Hartwell decided to ask her room full of experts for advice. And you can see there in the picture the Halloween party disaster and the Thanksgiving party disaster with the real turkey running away and the winter wonderland disaster when it rained and the snowman melted. During reading, between helping Emmy with a band-aid and searching with Jeff to find a just right reading book, she asked students for suggestions on Valentine's Day craft projects. There was a consensus on glitter, glue, ribbons, and lace. After math class, Mrs. Hartwell high-fived Alexandra for knowing her math facts and gave Jack a sticker for not giving up on his. Then she asked the party, she asked the class for party game recommendations. Her students had lots of ideas. Some she could use and some she could not. <laughs> Throwing water balloons was not a good idea, she didn't think. As everyone lined up for recess, Mrs. Hartwell tied Andy's shoelace and reminded Sergio and Olivia to get their coats. Then she asked the students for advice on the perfect party treat. Look at all those treats. Cake, they said, with extra frosting and lots of sprinkles. So they all agreed on cake. The night before Valentine's Day, Mrs. Hartwell worked hard to get everything ready for the party. It was very complicated. And there you see her decorating the cake and her husband is washing all the pots and pans that she used to make the cake. The next day, during lunch and recess, Mrs. Hartwell bustled about setting up the craft and the games. Can we see the cake? The students asked when they came in, excited for another one of Mrs. Hartwell's parties. It's going to be a surprise, she told them. That afternoon, the students handed out their Valentine's Day cards. Then Mrs. Hartwell got them started on the craft project. There was glitter, glue, ribbons, and lace. It turned out to be a little bit messier than Mrs. Hartwell had expected. Oh my, she said. Next up, games. Laughter rang out as students played. Pin the smile on the teacher, bean bag heart toss, and candy heart bingo. Well, it looks like they're having a lot of fun. <laughs> Those are interesting games that they thought of. Pin the smile on the t teacher. Finally, it was time for her extra special cake surprise. Mrs. Hartwell couldn't wait. She knew it would be the perfect ending to a less than perfect party. The students were definitely surprised. Is it supposed to look like that? Jack whispered to Maria. They had bumped into the table where the cake was several times during all those activities. And so the cake was not looking exactly like it was when she first put it on that plate. Oh no, wailed Mrs. Hartwell. This party is a disaster. I wanted it to be extra special. I wanted to show you how much I care. For a minute, the students looked confused. Then they laughed. You show us that every day, they said. Silly, Mrs. Hartwell, said Alexandra, patting her on the back. <laughs> Look at the cake, it's looking sad and frowning. The students decided to take charge. Some of them helped Mrs. Hartwell clean the frosting out of her hair 
and the glue off of her shoes, sort of. Some of them raced to clean up the mess, sort of. And some of them fixed the cake, sort of. But all of them took turns working on an impromptu Valentine for Mrs. Hartwell. They wanted it to be extra special to show her how much they cared. Once again, the classroom rang with laughter. So she's cutting the cake and serving it while the students are working on a special card for her. At the end of the day, the students gave Mrs. Hartwell their creation. Happy Valentine's Day, they cheered. Mrs. Hartwell smiled. It's perfect, she said. Just like you, Emmy said. Everyone agreed it was the best Valentine's Day party ever. And there are notes all over this big heart that say things like, I'm not going to read them all, things like, you are funny, you have cool parties, you are my best teacher, you always care about us. That is a nice Valentine. It was a perfect party, almost. Now Mrs. Hartwell in that picture is saying, where are my shoes? I can't wait to see what extra special plans Mrs. Hartwell has for St. Patrick's Day. So one of her students is already thinking about the next party. And that is the story of Valentine's Day Jitters. Another Southern folk song, I imagine that they sang it in the mountains, is called Cindy. book entitled The Persian Cinderella with uh, beautiful illustrations. I know you're going to love it. I'll see you then.